First of all, let me teach you how to score boxing, number one. Boxing is scored usually, let's, let's go use the Gustavo Libos versus Richardson Hitchens, by example. There's a 12-round fight, right? In boxing, each round is scored as its own fight. You're not supposed to score round two off of the circumstances that, 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 that transpired in round one. YouTube commentator still reacting to round one in round three. Ooh, ah, ah, ooh. The only circumstances that carried over are carried over by the boxer themselves. So me, so what I mean by that, it means if the boxer was fatigued from round one, he'd probably be tired again in round two. If, if they were hurt in round one, they might be hurt or wobbled in round two. But as a judge, as a person scoring, you're not supposed to bring no type of bias, no type of nothing from no 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 no, no nothing from uh, implicated from the last round into the next round. YouTube commentator is still reacting to round five in round eight. Ooh, ah, ah, ooh. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Not for the previous round into the next round. It's supposed to be 12 separate fights, 12 mini fights. Oh, wow. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG, EGM, praise God to get money. Back with another YouTube video. Spider Man, yes, sir, yes, ma'am. Y'all know what time it is, man. The doctor's in the house, Dr. Boxer Talk. Y'all know we know what we talk about over here, man. So, before we get to it, you know, Richard's a hitching in, Gustavo Libos. Y'all know that's the big deal. That's the big deal. Hold on, check out Kimba Bed right there. There go Kimba. There go Bed. Yeah, we chilling on the floor right now, man. I was going to be outside, but there's a lot of noise out there, man. I didn't want to interrupt the video. I have some pertinent information I want to tell y'all, man. Get to it. You know what I'm saying? So let's start off, start off with last night. We had Sky Nicholson versus Sarah Mafood. I thought that was the best fight of the night. You know, say shout out to the ladies. One time for Aussie boxing, man. <laughs> Sky Nicholson put him, put him on top. Because remember, there were over three title fights. You know, Michael Zarafa getting knocked out by Erzlandi Lara. Liam Wilson losing to Oscar Valdez. And then uh, uh, Tim Zhu losing that, unfortunate, losing that fight to Sebastian Fedora with that unfortunate cut that he sustained in the second round. You know, the fight should have been stopped. Anyway, they were all three, man. They were, they were losing, but Scott Nicholson, uh, uh, she won that fight. And, and, and she put on the show, too, man. You know, she was out there doing TikTok dance. Yo, you know what I'm talking about? Up, <laughs> so shout out to Scott Nicholson, you know. And shout out to Sarah Mafu. She came to fight, too. And the next fight, we have uh, Diego Pacheco versus Sean McCallum. I thought that this fight was 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 closer than the main event. That's in question. You know what I'm saying? But no one's talking about that being a robbery. Uh, I don't think it was Robbie, I think the right person won a close fight. I think Diego Pacheco won, as he should, but it was a very close fight. And Sean McCallum did this thing, man. You know, uh, his, his undefeated had to go. You know, his O had to go. So a uh, shout out to Diego Pacheco for winning a very close fight. And, and if anything was, a, you know, say that, that was a closer fight than the main event. But let's get to the meat and potatoes of the main event. First off, <laughs> first off, before we get to it, you know, I love, I love the jokes, man. Somebody said, um, we had Shakur uh, Stevenson or Shakira Tweeter says people will call him disrespectfully. Uh, he said that, oh, if, if uh, he said something to the effect of Richard, Richard Hitches was down there trading with him, he would have got Gustavo Lemos out of there. And somebody responded, talking about, he did trade with you. <laughs> That's why he out here running and, running and hugging all night. <laughs> that was funny because he was doing a lot of hugging. You know what I'm talking about? He, it was love day on the court. You know, it was Valentine's Day. He was doing all them hugs. You know, but, but I will say this though. Um, people are acting like it was a robbery, saying it was a robbery. I wanted to do, like, dude, I really have a question, man. Do y'all really watch boxing? Do y'all really like boxing? Do y'all just like certain boxers that look like you, share the same ethnicity as you, have an interest with you, or something that you are fond of about the boxer, so it gives you a, uh, some type of bias because you can relate to the boxer, something like that? Or Like, bro, do you do, first of all, let me teach you how to score boxing, number one. Boxing is scored, usually, let's, let's go use the Gustavo Libos versus Richardson Hitchens, by example. There's a 12-round fight, right? In boxing... Each round is scored as its own fight. So we saw 12 individual little fight, three minute long, uh, uh, little, 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 little short three minute long fights in the, in the duration of a, of a 12 round bout. You're not supposed to score round two off of the circumstances that, 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 that transpired in round one. The only circumstances that carried over are carried over by the boxer themselves. So, me, so what I mean by that, it means if the boxer was fatigued from round one, he'd probably be tired again in round two. If, if they were hurt in round one, they might be hurt or wobbled in round two. But as a judge, as a person scoring, you're not supposed to bring no type of bias, no type of, nothing from, no, 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 no nothing from, uh, implicated from the last round into the next round. You know what I'm saying? Nothing from the previous round into the next round it's supposed to be 12 separate fights 12 mini fights yeah now listen that's called motherfucking bars nigga fucking you know nothing about that so with that being said um if each round is scored on its own i don't i don't see how you could not have richardson hitchens winning that fight richardson hitchens outboxed 
uh, Gustavo Limos. He outpointed Gustavo Limos. Now, what I will say is that Limos had the had bigger moment. He had more moments in the fight. You see what I'm saying? He had more moments than, than Richardson Hitches. But as far as who had who, who won more rounds, who did more things, who, who was the, more effective with their punches, it was Richardson Hitches all day. He was he was leading with the jab. You know what I'm saying? Working with the jab. He got some good hicks, hooks off. Now, I also saw some people say that there wasn't any close rounds. I disagree with that. I thought there was three swing rounds. I think round three was a swing round. I thought round 10 and round 11 could have went either way. I thought those three rounds could have went either way. So if you give all those three swing rounds to Richardson Hitchens, I can see it being 116, 112. Now, 117, 111 is a little crazy, you know what I'm saying? But I, if you give all three of those swing rounds, which means very close rounds, because I score the bout. I actually score it. I'm not just a hype job. You know, like some of y'all just, y'all hear one person say it, and then this person say it, y'all just, y'all just a bunch of sheep some, sometimes. Y'all know who I'm talking to, because the people who I'm talking to, they're going to get offended. You know, the ones who I'm not talking to, you, you know what it is, man. Keep doing your thing. Big salute. But just, just score the fight yourself. You know what I'm saying? Do your due diligence. Keep record of it. I write everything down. I had three very close rounds. If you give all three of those very close rounds, quote unquote swing rounds to reach the hitches, you can have it 116, 112. You see what I'm saying? Like I can. I can have it 116, 112 easily. If you give those, if you give those three rounds, those three, three swing rounds to Lemos, then you could have it 115, uh, uh, 113 for Lemos. You know, but I don't see why. I don't, I, in my opinion, I don't think that you could really do that. But if you did, you have 115, 113 for Lemos. Let's say if you give two, you know what I'm saying? You can break it down all day. But if you give two rounds to this person, two of these swing rounds to one person, one of these swing rounds to the other person, you got to draw, whatever, et cetera, et cetera. But the majority, in my opinion, you would have Richards and Hitches with it. And I think that's the right person who won. You know, I think he outpointed him. Like I said, there was times when he was hurt. You know, there was times when he was hurting. He was hugging. That's why he was hugging and clinching a lot, which I was very shocked. I always said that Richardson Hitchens had to win this fight in, in, in an impressive fashion, and he did not do that. He did, he did not do that. So I don't think he helped himself in any way as far as being a uh, top contender or compared to one of those guys at, uh, at 140 like Devin Haney, Tio Fimo, Subriel, Matias, uh, uh, Esau Pippo Cruz now, you know what I'm saying? Big up to Pippo. You know, I don't think he uh, he helped his case at all. I think when people think of the top guys at 140, he's still going to fly under the radar, still going to get overlooked because he did it with it in, in, in decisive fashion. But Gustavo Levels, he's a he's a good fighter too you know you can say that oh he didn't beat beat any notable people but he still had 30 30 i think he's 32 of those or it was 32 two of those he still had 30 some people stand in front of him and lose so he's a, he's a good respectable fighter now if you're, if you're Lemos, you know i think it could have been a draw but as far as Lemos winning i don't think there's really uh too 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 much of a way that you could have Lemos winning unless like i said you give him all the close rounds which, 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 which you could you know what i'm saying but but to act like it was a robbery i think there's two terms in boxing that are used far too often one is duck and the other is robbery yeah listen that's called motherfucking bars, nigga. Fucking you know nothing about that. So th this was not a robbery. It was a close fight. Like I said, I think Diego uh, Pacheco versus uh, uh, Ben McCollum was closer. And I think Diego won clearly. And I thought this was a close fight, but I thought Richard Hitchens won, won clearly. You know what I'm saying? But that 171 level is crazy. But I appreciate y'all rocking me as always. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Y'all get on me. Get on me if I'm tripping. Y'all think Gustavo Lemos won or it was a robbery? I don't. I I, I vehemently disagree. I, th I think Rich, I think the right person won. Oh, and by the way, also last thing, uh, I saw some people getting on Clarissa Shields' head top about her commentary. Talk about all she was doing was ooing and on. What? It's so it's bro, it, y'all be so hypocritical. The people that y'all like to watch for boxing commentary, all they be doing is ooh, ah, ah, ooh. Hey yo, what the fuck? You know, talk about all they do is a whole bunch of ooh and ah. But when Clarissa Shields do it, when, when Clarissa Shields does it, oh, it's a problem. So my point is that commentary is 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 an art, man. So respect some of these commentators, man. It's very hard to do good commentary. Shout out to those that come through for my boxing commentary. I get complimented on my boxing commentary a, a lot, all the time. But even just last night, I said, man, you know. I'm, I'm very hard on myself because I think I need to improve with my boxing commentary because this is how I feel now. I feel like even when it's a boring fight, I should still be able to make you excited for the fight because of my commentary being done so well. That's an art in itself. So my, my good comment, my commentary, whether it's good or bad, should be independent of how the fight is. I, 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 my, my, my own person, you know what I'm saying? That, that's how I think. So Clarissa Shields, her, her commentary wasn't the best, but I thought her commentary was good for somebody who's not an actual commentator. You had one job. Just the one. You get me? She's not an actual commentator. She's a boxer. You see, every so search shout out to uh, Sergio Moore who does great commentary. What? Shout out to Max Kellerman who does great commentary. What? Jim J Jim Lambley, Roy Jones, what? you know all those people. We cannot take that for granted. It's not just getting up there and knowing boxing and talking boxing. That's like someone being good at basketball. You think that they're going to be an automatic automatically going to be a good basketball coach because they're good at basketball. Shut up, bitch. 
That's not how life works. So, you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to Clarissa Shields. I thought her commentary was good. You know, I wasn't the best, no. But a lot of times, very few of the people that commentate are, uh, provide the best commentary. You know what I'm saying? So, I appreciate y'all rocking me as always. Let me know what y'all think about that for real. Remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we are nothing. Amen. Shout out to Richardson Hitchens. He, the rightful person won. It was a close fight, but he won. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets